In today's video, we'll be looking at 10 interesting facts you probably didn't know about Afrikaans, the youngest official language in the world and the third most spoken language in South Africa. We'll be looking at the facts that will blow your mind away. So please feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments. And as usual, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share for more content like this. Number 10 on our list is that although Afrikaans is based on Dutch, it's actually a dialect influenced by other languages which developed in the Dutch Cape Colony by colonists and their slaves who were brought to South Africa between the 17th and 19th century and has influences from English, Malay, Portuguese, German, French, some Bantu languages, Scottish, Yiddish, and the mostly almost extinct Khoisan languages. Something interesting is that languages such as Setswana or Sibedi have borrowed terms from Afrikaans. An example of this in a linguistic sense would be a person who speaks Setswana and doesn't speak Afrikaans would borrow words such as Hempe, which is actually borrowed from Afrikaans. And this is so because, for example, many Paswana worked in South African farms and mines where Afrikaans was used predominantly. Contrary to some statements, Afrikaans is not a dying language and it's estimated that it's spoken by roughly 7.5 to 8.4 million people as a first language and about 10.4 million people combining those who speak it as a first and second language. The language is also spoken in various countries such as South Africa as a main language and a minority language in countries like Namibia, Botswana, Iswatini, Lesotho, Malawi, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. Other locations with African speakers include Australia, New Zealand, and Mauritius. Another country is Argentina, more specifically Patagonia, where a small group of African speaking farmers reside who are the descendants of a group of about 800 families of Afrikaners who immigrated to South America between 1903 and 1909 after the anglo Boer War. Something else that's interesting is that contrary to what you may think, the Dutch were not impressed by Afrikaans. Even going as far as in 1685, a Dutch East India Company official H.A. Van Reid wrote home complaining about a distorted and incomprehensible version of Dutch. The language was often referred to as Kitchen Dutch and was considered a mixed form of Dutch only spoken by the uneducated. It was only decreed a real language or official language in 1925 by the South African government. Another interesting fact is that in prisons within South Africa, there is a secret language that is spoken by the prisoners called Sabela, which developed in national prisons in South Africa as a means of communications within the gangs, as it's alleged that this is primarily used by the Numbers Gang, one of the most fearsome gangs in the country. The language's main base is Afrikaans. However, it has very strong English, Zulu, and Kosa influences. Another interesting fact is that 100 years before Afrikaans became an official language, it was first used in Muslim schools as a medium of instruction in South Africa. Beginning in 1815, it started replacing the Malay language in Muslim schools in Cape Town and was also written in Arabic texts. Many of the texts written in Arabic Afrikaans were translations of the Quran or other religious texts. Something else that's interesting is that for several centuries, Afrikaans was only a spoken language. In writing, Standard Dutch remained the norm. This remained the case until the mid-19th century. Number three on our list is that Afrikaans is one of the few languages in the world that have an actual monument dedicated to it, situated on top of a hill overlooking Pau in the Western Cape. It is said to be a reflection of the Afrikaans' history. Another interesting but known fact about Afrikaans is that the language 
is looked at with mixed reactions and due to its history it is a controversial language. Some people believe that Afrikaans is a language of oppression due to its history during colonialism and apartheid where students and migrants were forced to learn the language during apartheid instead of their own languages with increasing pressure to remove it as an official teaching language. As in 2015 alone, there were a number of student revolts against compulsory Afrikaans education. The last interesting fact on our list about Afrikaans is that 60% of Afrikaans speakers are not white. And according to studies done, using data from various censors, only 40% of African speakers are white, while the remaining 60% being a mixture of other race groups, with those who identify as colored being the ones who speak the language the most, followed by white people in South Africa. So with all those facts done and said, that wraps up our list for today. If you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share for more content like this.